All right, this will be part one of this truck. Um, we're going to start by getting the interior out. She'd like to have the seats out. We're going to take the vinyl floor out. We're going to take the kick panels off. Um, we're going to pressure wash as much of this as we can before she starts to clean it because it is one of the worst. Not like, not like greasy, but just dirty. Yeah, dirty. You know, and ground in, ground in dirt. I mean, this will take forever if you're trying to do it with a bucket. So we'll get all this off. So we'll start by popping these caps out. There's 21 millimeter bolts in the front. And then the back, you have a 21 millimeter combination of nuts and bolts across the back. So let's get these out. out. When I say the whole interior, I mean the seats, the floor mat, all the trim panels. Um, and we'll see how much farther she wants to go from there. But you can see we're missing a visor there, some vents, all kinds of stuff. So. Let's get the seats out, they're pretty simple. Alright, so there's the first go around with the pressure washer. Um, we'll spray it, I just spray it with cleaner. We'll let it soak for a little while. I'll come back and hit it again with the pressure washer. But uh, we've got about a half an hour, 40 minutes in it so far. gonna do take it all out putting all the mud out she'll vacuum it all up and then she'll wash everything get it all clean okay so these are the original leaf springs you see they're just the main leaf on the bottom and then two the ones I'm gonna use are a four pack there's four leaves plus the main these are from the same era of truck but they're from an F-350, and this truck's an F-250. Um, I like, I chose to use these because you get two more springs, and so when you load the thing up, it doesn't sag nearly as quick as two springs would. Now the benefits are, you're gonna be able to tow a little bit better, it'll handle the load a little bit nicer, and the right height's gonna be, um, it's not gonna be nearly as uh, affected with the weight as you would with two. The drawbacks are, with two more leaf springs, it's going to ride a little bit different. Uh, not horrible, it's an extended cab, long bed, so it's going to be long enough that it can compensate, but it will be a slight difference, which I'm plenty okay with that. The reward of having the extra capacity, like you can't load the axle any heavier, that's not what we're achieving. What we're achieving is the right height and how the truck handles the load. So on two leaves, if I put a gooseneck in it, or even a trailer behind it, okay, it's going to react differently with the two leaves on there versus the four. The four is going to be more stable front to back and side to side. So towing would be a little bit better. The other option was I could have used a two pack and I could have gone to a helper spring setup. The holes on Fords are already here. Usually the back two are riveted, the front two it's covered in mud, you can't see it, but they're bolted in place, or I might have that backwards, it might be riveted in the front, but regardless, usually there's a spacer here and then another spring. And this, once you load it, the springs would hit the helper brackets on the frame. Well, these I have, well, actually I have both, but I preferred to use this because I didn't want to have to put brackets on the frame and all that kind of stuff. And also, <clears throat> if you want to put airbags in here, the system that you use um, works as well with or without the overload springs. Okay, so the, the other drawback to this is when you go to a four spring, my U bolts are no longer long enough because I've added between the little spacer that's in here and the spring itself those two extra springs just about an inch. Actually, it's these two extras. I've added just about an inch of height. So you have to decide whether is it worth it to you to have the extra springs but then go buy new U-bolts. I don't have the right U-bolts so I have to buy them. To me it's well worth it. I would rather have the four extra springs buy new U-bolts new U-bolts rather than just go to the two-pack spring. So that's where we're at on that. I'm gonna go pick them up tomorrow and we checked all the brakes. They're all good. They've got real good lining in here. You guys can't see that. 
real thick lining on the rear. The rotor, it rained last night. These rotors are in really good shape. Apparently not that old. And we've got mirrors changed out. That's taken care of. And she has interior all cleaned up now. If you remember, there was mud and dirt all caked down in this area here. The seat was almost black from all the dirt. She's got that door panel cleaned up. Now, a lot of times what will happen is when she's doing this, this is like a multiple series. Okay, like she's cleaned it one time, but she'll go back over it again as her final cleaning, and then there may be a little bit of touch up after that. But as it is right now, we are ready to put the vinyl mat back in and put the seats back in and that's what we're doing right now okay so this is that mat that was so bad there's some wear here it's a lot softer you can see the edges are kind of worn down but it's clean that's for sure um, it's hard to believe this is even the same mat but uh, it is so now that this is in now we'll put the seats in all right, in the going back together part of this, the center console goes in first. A little bit of paint on there. Um, when you're taking it out, it comes out last. And it has a bolt here, bolt over here. And then you pop this front cover loose here. It pops out of the front. There's some push pins right here that go in the face. And then there's two nuts right here. These are 21 millimeter nuts. Tighten them up, fold this back down, and push the pins in. And then you can get on to the other two seats. All right, so this middle seat belt here goes into this specific latch which you know got a little bit of cleaning to do yet but anyways in order to disconnect it on the back side there's a little bitty hole right there i take a paper clip in in there push in the hole and it releases this thing and to put it back in that's it that's all there is to it now it's back so now i can get the other seat belts over here finish bolting it in and then the back seats in front seats are in Move over to here. Okay, these seat belts are in the buckles. I always wait until everything is done, like uh, put in place, start all the bolts. I put these in first. And if you notice, this will say center here. This one over here has to be towards this way. And after I get all that in, then I go through and tighten everything up. So that's in. Now I got to put the center caps over these bolts. And I'm going to start on the trim. So this is what it takes to get the dirt out and get them clean. These are the vents she's working on. We take them completely out, take them apart. They're three pieces. And she cleans them all up with a toothbrush. That's not my toothbrush, is it? I'll never tell. <laughs> Alright, so then this goes here, and this part goes in, and this goes over, and latches. Like, so I can get them lined up, like that. That's all together. Alright guys, the interior is all cleaned up and it's all back in place now. If you don't remember what it looked like before, uh, insert right here. You can take a look right here and remember what this looked like before we started. I'd get it one piece at a time, and it wouldn't cost me a dime. You know it's me when I come through your town. I'm gonna ride around in style. I'm gonna drive everybody wild. Cause I'll have the only one there is around. Okay, now, keep in mind, this is uh, not 100% complete. There's still going to be a little bit of touch-up um, where there's some spots that, you know, show up or 
whatever we didn't notice or what have you but all in all um, it's probably I'd say 75 percent 80 percent done the sun's kind of playing tricks a little bit here but you can see the the floor is a hundred percent clean came out really nice the dash is all clean steering wheel came nice and clean the cluster the dash pads all clean was able to get all the, the duct work cleaned up that's kind of tough because those get dried out the plastic they're made of didn't doesn't dry out real well the dash turned out okay for where that was I still didn't wasn't able to find this piece I thought I had it but I haven't found it yet it's got the airbag all cleaned up the dash cleaned up I mean there'll be some places that kind of um, you know pop up that we'll notice because it's tough to get it all at one time um, headliners all cleaned up it was pretty dirty we got the visor we were missing over there we got the a pillar trim that was missing over here and if you remember this center console was absolutely disgusting it was really bad uh, of course now I've got it all dirty from stepping in it I should have put a floor mat in it just did all that work I just keep in mind this one was so bad that I actually helped clean on this one myself uh, my wife did a lot of the scrubbing on the seats and I did uh, a lot of the bigger stuff well bigger I mean bigger pieces not not harder work that's not what I mean but there'll be some spots like let's see if I can find a good example like right in here there's some ground in dirt in the door panels it's pretty tough to get off and it's not off yet but it's a major improvement let's go to the other side we'll open that up This was all black right here. It was pretty rough. But uh, yeah, that, that dash piece doesn't look horrible. It's not great, but it's better than it was. If you remember, there was a black, uh, looked like a stain here in the middle of that seat, but she was able to get that cleaned up 100%. So. It looks pretty good. Door panel's all done. So then there'll be some touch up. Like you can see this is still this is so dry, it's got scratches in it. Like this will take three or four coats of dressing. There's a lot of places on here like that. Like when the, the sun beats on these, they don't get any conditioner. Um, it takes three or four coats of dressing to get it to come back to life but making good progress and we'll show you under the hood got that all done might even have a little twist in this video or in this project we're going to call this project resurrection So I got the engine all cleaned up, all that dust and dirt's out of here. Much, much nicer to work on now than what it was. All right, so let's go down the list of what's next. I still have U-bolts to get for the rear axle since I went with the taller leaf springs or at the two extra leaf springs which made the stack taller wheels and tires might be a little bit of twist on that um, and next is going to be I've got a idler or tensioner pulley I don't recall that's making noise I gotta fix the air conditioner 
I'll replace this fender tomorrow. I already have it. I'll replace that. And I'm going to remove the both running boards. We're not going to have running boards at all. Uh, I may just put a couple little steps in, little like one foot long steps, just a single step. Might put those on, or nothing, I'm not sure. So, after we get all this buttoned up, it goes to the body shop, and we're going to get a quote on this door. We're going to find out how much it'll charge me to fix it. If it's under 250 bucks, I'm going to let them fix it, because I don't want to give up a good door because a good door will cost me 250 bucks. So if they can do this for a couple hundred dollars, we'll have them fix it. If not, we'll replace the door. This bed's gonna cost me about a thousand bucks to get fixed. Got a dent here. There's a little dent here. And I saw a small one up here somewhere. There it is, right there. And he'll take care of the tailgate. There's a couple scratches here or there. I have another tailgate, but I'm not sure this truck warrants it. I got the taillight replaced. Oh yeah, got a black bumper on it. And a little bit of dents here, and then the big one here, right in this area. So that'll be next. So that'll be the end of this. Uh, I'm gonna leave you on this one, guys. So this will be part two, but look for part three, and that uh, will be the next next part of you know progress and what we're doing oh i still have to do the grill uh, i have a black grill and i have a chrome grill i'm just not certain which way i'm going to go yet um it's going to depend on what wheels and tires i use also we're going to paint the frame the coil springs um i'm not taking the body off to do all this but i am going to clean all this up in here and paint the frame and the leaf springs and all that kind of stuff so it's just going to be a quickie i'm not going to go all out on that because I don't think it's that big a deal. But anyways, how many of you guys have? If you guys like what we're doing, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Leave your comments down below, guys. We'll catch you on the next one.